All right, come here, Carl. Are you Carl? You're not Carl. Where's Carl? Carl, that kills people. Clearly that guy's Carl. I mean, look at him. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Could... Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Uh -huh. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Yeah, whack, whack, whack. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about. Put yes. the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> what was the purpose of this? The lime in the coconut. Um. Yeah, collectible thermoses. That's a weird collectible. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be afraid to go to the bathroom too, ma'am. You okay? Hello? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon worse. as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans listen. always did. I'm scared. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Clearly, we're gonna knock on this door. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Uh huh. Ah! Very inspiring. Okay. You creep me out, lady. I'm okay, ma'am. See? See? Nothing to you worry about. You lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. You have a this lantern. Ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Uh-huh. I, I believe her. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> Lime in the coconut and drink them all. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything. Every... The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay, thank you for informing me that. For whatever reason. You know what? I don't even want to talk to you. Bye, Mr. Wake. Yep, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Um. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your. Your keys! Keys to what? Why is everyone dying that here? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. <laughs> we can talk about this later. I'm figuring it out right now. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. What'd you do in your last book? And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look 
up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. It gets that's, pretty dark out here, but that's a wonderful I'll place to way. stay. Why would you stay on an island where it's super scary all the time? Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. Uh-huh. It's something, all right. Let's go. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. She's gonna hate this game. Like, literally, any collectibles? Now that there's collectibles, now I gotta find everything. <sighs> but not. Nah, she's really gonna hate this game. <laughs> Ooh, berries. Nom, nom, nom. Anything over here? No? More berries. Can I eat them? Those are leaves. What is over here? Ooh, a hatchet. I should uh, take that and throw it into the lake so no one can use it on me. Oh, uh, e, e. e to examine. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Great. Now there's going to be a love story mixed in. Just what I wanted. What's in here? Can I go in there? E. An <gasps> old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh. Yeah. Let there be light. A good... That looks like a terribly designed generator. And those are oil drums. Or gas drums, I assume. The lights are on! Good work, honey. Yeah. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. I was, gonna, I was gonna do that anyway. No, no, no. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. But that all changed. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Hmm, everyone probably died from, like, being scared to death. That's probably what happened. Well, that's bright. Does she still sleep with the nightlight? Because that would be kind of hilarious. Stupid crows. I don't like the crows here. They're, They're not giving me a good vibe. Close the door. No! Stupid door? Whoever designed that? Oh, great. A creepy rocking horse. Alice? Honey? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Who's Thomas Zane? Cody, where are you when I need you? Alan, oh. I'm upstairs. Okay. I have a surprise for you. Oh, dear lord. I found another thermos. These things are everywhere. Not done exploring. Okay, I'm done exploring. Oh wait. Stupid crow, get out of here. No one likes you. Oh. Oh, what was that? Turn on. Isn't it already on? The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist Yep. Well, this duck's creepy. The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. Uh-huh. Like like squids or or jellyfish or or clowns. I hate clowns. Clowns would definitely be down there. Oh, dear lord. Come here, slowpoke. I'm waiting. Shut up. I'm not even coming to you. Aha, see? Went to the other room. Surprise. Just, oh. Alice. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice! You- 
everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Oh, shit. Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't don't. follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Why would you go that way? <sighs> now you left her alone. Now she's going to be attacked by the monster. Good job, you doofus. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> oh. Alice? Oh, great. gone dark all the lights were out uh-huh you don't say do I have a gun I don't have a gun do I Alice I'm coming it's all oh, right. oh. Coming. dang I told you I didn't like the crows take that crows take that and this yeah come here darkness oh I'm being attacked time to time to go inside Alan you suck at running Uh, behind you. Oh no! It's like jump, dude. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up, Alice. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. How inconvenient. Okay. Well, sir, you almost... How did you crash... Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Um. I'm gonna pretend not to hear the tree crashing. Or that thing breaking. And I'm gonna examine the book. Thank you. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. I also didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover. I'm with you on that one. Now where are we? The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Uh-huh. You don't say. Go away, Crow. No one likes you. Damn. And there goes the car. Hope you had rental insurance. If it was a rental, uh, I'm gonna get attacked and killed by a grizzly bear. Don't go into the darkness. The darkness will find you. Hello? Well, that's extremely bright and extremely bright. Hello? Start Someone Vader. there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Hmm. How inconvenient. Better start running. You found the manuscript. You can F5. Let's, uh... The title page of the manuscript. Departure by Alan Wake. Oh, that's bright. Back. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. 
It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Hmm, a little bit creepy. No, resume game, please. And sprint, Alan, sprint, Alan. Unless you want to get killed by that Anybody guy. There? Please, I've been in an accident. Um, he's about to make you an accident. I don't know what that means, but he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do it. Ah, oh, you sprint, dude. You need to go jogging some more. I'm just the lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Mm. Unlikely. Very unlikely. Okay, we're gonna run this Anybody way. Then we're gonna run hey. this way. Hey, you! Fail! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Okay. Square. Yep, fair and square. Totally fair and square. Um, there's a thermos. I'll, I'll take the thermos. Uh huh. I don't know. Manuscript page. And the box. Fair and square. I heard you the first time, buddy. He's trying to hit me with gas cans. That's not very nice. Um, what's over here? Anything? Oh, you know, just an axe murderer. You lose. I win. I always win. It's the latest thing. The latest thing. Great. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe, like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> I get that reference. Ooh, energizer. Yeah, got me some. Some weapons. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Trying your Trying It's the latest thing. In testably. Where was I supposed to? Proven. Revolver ammo would be nice. Let you batteries would be nice. One More batteries time. would be even nicer. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? Same. Ha! Yes. Found a phone. Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Call me up. Hello? Hello? Terrific. Oh. This Even bad. more terrific. Why would you do that, Stucky? Why would you... Why are you bulldozing the... Out, out, Alan. Ow! Electricity hurts. Keep that in mind. Oh, convenient. Oh, inconvenient. Boop, 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 boop. Die. Die. R, R, R. Yeah. I had pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. You killed two something. people. There were no bodies. Two shadows. They just disappeared. I don't know I what I turned dreaming. on. It felt real enough to make me sick. To go this way and then that way. Okay. Now this way, what are these yellow dots? What do these represent? Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. A flare gun. I will take it. And not know how to use it. Excellent. Okay, now, uh, let's, uh, let us go this way. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. Oh. 
Or kick it. That works too. The and dark forest was the last place jump. I wanted to go. Jump. But I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Oh, dark shadows. <laughs> oh, that was the flare. Okay, at least I killed him. That's that's a good sign. I I didn't want to use the the flare gun. Dang it! Curse you, Alan. A manuscript page. Oh yeah, I found another one while I was being attacked. Uh. The taking stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater. Like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Alrighty. Read those in chronological order. Maybe. Wasn't there something else? I thought there was. Anyway, leaving because I don't like shadows operating heavy machinery. Or maybe I have to go this way. Don't kill me, machine. Oh, electricity. Alright, this way. Hmm. Ouch. I knew she was no good. What the hell was that? It's probably a shadow monster. It's your dream. You can do what you want. When I saw the river below, Something <gasps> uncoiled itself inside. Ah, oh, dang it. That was just foolish of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we already saw that. Onward. Come on, Alan. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. So clearly jumping into the middle of it was good, right? Thermos! Why am I collecting coffee thermoses? Okay, um... Now where to? That way? This way. Not that way. This way? Could I not? Nope, can't do that. Oh, I have to go this way. Over the water, through the woods, to grandmother's house we go. And he moved. Where'd he go? Screw it, we're going across. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. So I've got a feeling like somebody's watching me. Come on, you wanna go? You guys wanna go? You wanna, you wanna... Ah! He threw an axe at me. Oh. Ah! He threw another axe at me. This way. No, not that way. This way? Do I get to climb stuff? Oh, I can climb. That's a good thing to know. Caution. Proceed at your own risk. Terrific. Um, I'm going to go this way and avoid all the uh, chaos and The make. staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other <sighs> way. Let me guess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's not a good sign when it gives you that much stuff. Alan, go work out a little bit. Oh. Ow! 
He hit me with an axe. Oh, he hit me with an axe too. Ow! Okay, come on, come on. Aha! If you can dodge a ball, you can dodge an axe. And clearly you can't dodge bullets, so... Okay, what's in here? Hello? A shotgun? Well, that might come in handy. Anything else of value? No. Is this is this how the story's gonna be? Is just me finding pages of myself and writing about that? Oh come on. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Uh huh. Now my objective's over there. Terrific. Run before the shadows come. They're everywhere. Terrific. I've already reloaded. Okay, here we go. I assume it needs to be here. Yes. Yes. Alright, here we go. Up the stairs. Alan, climb. I've always got a feeling that somebody's watching me. Jump! Oh, thank gosh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Uh oh. To the light. Go, go, go. To the light. Oh, oh that's bright. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night I. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. No, thank you. Mm, the weather's absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's Crap. like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do listen to no one. I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I would. Open. Another flare gun. I guess I'll reload it, but I'm not using it. But here I am, man. It would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Another page. Oh, I shot a gun. Well, that would definitely give me away. How far away is a gas station? Jeez. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs. Burster is the best with no coat. Uh huh. Is second best. The famous dog is. Oh gosh. Rip. Oh thank gosh. Pick up batteries. Is he still there? I cannot see. Okay, we're gonna run. He's scary. He's scaring me. I'm literally crapping my pants right now. Come on. Ain't got all day. Run. Ah, it's a branch. Okay. Reload. Okay, don't reload. It's fine. Okay, checkpoint. Okay, here we go. Open. I'll take that, and I'll take that. Um, I won't be going that way, though. I'll be going this way. Great. Not like this is any better. Ouch! Ah! He sounds like he's just like, 
um, that one guy. Oop, boulders scary. Scary boulders. Who's that one guy that did all the, uh, Billy Mays? He reminds me of Billy Mays, just shouting nonsense. I mean, so, it's almost just like Billy Mays is in general. But, warning, proceed at your own risk. I'm tired of seeing those signs because I've been going at my own risk for, like, quite a while now. I have a feeling that things just gonna inconveniently come after me. Okay, you want some fun? You want to have some fun, guys? Yeah, take that. How about them pina coladas? Yeah. Now who's winning? Not Charlie Sheen, that's for sure. Why does stuff have to move? I don't like moving things. I don't like mo lithium batteries. I don't even don't even know what that would. Con don't turn it on. Why would you turn it on? It's just going to be an eye. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. <laughs> Twilight Zone. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Mm hmm. Tonight's episode A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very. Courage.